Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you see this, I would like to offer your mid-September um, elemental relationship reading. But we're doing things a little different this month. Let me know in the comments if you like this format better. Uh, instead of doing all four in one really long video, we'll break them up into four individuals. So we'll do each uh, element individually looking at the elemental singles and then those in relationships um, so it's not as <laughs> overwhelming to try to pick through the entire video to find your element uh, if you're interested as to why I read for the elements there's a video linked in the description down below you can check that out uh, and if you're not sure what your elemental alignment is or what your zodiac sign is there is a natal chart linked in the description it's not a promotion or anything like that um, I just really like the company and they have the, they give you the natal chart with the 12 houses and all the little planets on it and then they give you 10 to 20 pages of a description going through what all of that means including your elemental alignment and how that applies so you can check all that out down below with that we'll get into the reading uh, earth covers the zodiac signs of Taurus Virgo and Capricorn and we will start off with earth singles Earth Singles. I don't even have to check which um, chakra this is because it's number one, Strength. This is the root chakra. This is the one that is uh, the very base of your spine. Um, some people see it between the genitals and the, um, like on your perineum area. There we go. <laughs> but it is a red fire that connects you to the heart of the planet. What I'm hearing with this one is, before I double check the book or emphasize the book or whatever, um, Right now, you are standing in a position of great strength and authority over your life, but it's also saying to be careful not to get too too tied up in yourself, Earth Singles. Um, you can be so strong that you don't need anyone else. Yeah, you don't, you don't. You can make it on your own, but isn't life more fun when you're with a group of friends or even a partner? Um, and that's what I'm hearing as kind of a heads up. Like, you, you've got the strength to stand on your own two feet. But maybe you can have someone stand next to you because it might be more entertaining. So uh, with that, we'll check out what the book has to say here. The planetary association is Mars. So Earth, you're dealing with some very uh, fiery energy. Uh, Mars is sometimes known as the warring god. He personifies power to direct energy towards winning battles between wisdom and ego. Exalted on Earth for surmounting obstacles, fearlessly fulfilling his duties, he embodies the discipline and knowledge needed to evolve from lower to higher chakras. Going along with that, they're saying that this is a good opportunity if you've not been doing a lot of spiritual work, or you've kind of, <laughs> you just let it kind of slide. This is a time to start focusing more on that because this is an open window for uh, Earth singles to elevate where they're at. They can elevate their position in their friend group, they could elevate their position par possibly finding a partner, or it could just be developing more of who they are so they can stand out more in the world in a positive way. Uh, keywords focused will finding strength resilience take action process truth um, a deep-rooted sense of commitment so there's definitely this theme if you're an earth single right now they're bringing forward that there's definitely something new coming in some connections starting to come forward and there's and I don't know why they keep saying this don't turn your back on a good opportunity so whether that's a friend or a potential partner they're being a little bit loud right now so <laughs> um, let's do some clarification we have the two of summer falling in love making serious commitments to someone forgiveness the resolution of a problem don't give up and your relationships are healed so the strength could be the fact of maybe biting your tongue like there was a relationship you were in that maybe and I'm and like I said this is just what I'm getting the mistake was on your side but you're not willing to admit it the two of summer is saying it takes a little a lot of strength to admit when you did something that was wrong and or it could be the situation that you got out of you feel you feel guilt that you may have messed something up and that works into that forgiveness thing the two of summer is what I'm hearing is this is a time of healing for you but also healing of other relationships and that does bring in that strength energy again because being able to step up and admit that you may have made a mistake and that you're going to fix it that is a very <laughs> 
takes a lot of strength to be able to do that. Um, and, but it also shows that you're willing to overcome the ego saying, I'm not doing that. Oh, yeah, you can, though. Because by doing that, you're healing yourself overall. And Earth singles, this is the time to do that healing because there's something else coming in. And <laughs> the lovers is the card coming in. This is a major arcana, major life lessons. True love that is long lasting, choices made from the heart, a return to good health. So this card is saying when you do the work of healing the issues from the past, it takes a lot of strength, but that strength is going to be rewarded. Whether they're saying, and they're being open about this part, it could be a new friend group, it could be just a new friend overall, it could be a deepening of a friendship, or an actual romantic partner. Everything is on the other side of your healing this month, and it doesn't have to be dramatic, like, world changed healing, that's possible. But what they're saying is even if it's admitting and working through to yourself the little things, it's going to open up the door to better opportunities and bigger opportunities down the road. So Earth Singles, definitely take the time to do some meditation this month. Take some time to look at things that you have done in the past that you maybe need to forgive yourself for or seek forgiveness from another. Um, or both <laughs> and do the work to improve because there's a lot of positive options that are stepping forward this month so uh, let's take a peek at our earth couples and earth couples it could be you are the earth element that is watching this or it could be your partner is the earth element and you're just trying to see what's going on so <laughs> however that works for you we have number 44 bliss so those in the relationship and I'll check the book here too but I'm hearing um, this is a great time for Earth in a relationship. This is a time of peace, of growth, expansion, but I'm also hearing that this is a time of great enjoyment and great pleasure, but it's not pleasure as in simply the physical. It's a pleasure as in, they kept showing me images, I'm like, define those. <laughs> oh, it's pleasure as in the connection of, or the joy and the uh, excitement of being with your partner. It's being with that person that brings you such peace. You just look at them and you have this little smile and they'll look at you and be like, what are you smiling at? That's that energy. And they're happy about that smile, but they're also curious as to why you're looking at them like that. That's the vibe I'm getting right here. So <laughs> it's kind of a giggly vibe. Um, we have beyond all elements. So earth, this is definitely saying that you're beyond the physical uh, five senses. It is not given, and this is in the crown chakra energy. Uh, it is not given us to know everything, the source of everything, or the source of everything. We know far more about the elements of the cosmos than we know in the past, but who can say what occurs or exists within one of the great black holes of outer space or even beyond that? Likewise, who can know what causes a few great souls to be born with a sense of eternal bliss, or what opens the door for someone to develop such a sense more easily than others. It is only through divine grace and the opening of the thousand petals of our seventh chakra that we can experience that which is beyond knowing. This is that piece that goes beyond understanding that you hear about in some of the Christian circles. Um, it's also an enlightenment aspect of energy that's coming up here. Keywords, bliss, enjoyment, successful arrival at destination, feeling high on life, connecting with your crown, tuning into the cosmic nature of love. So Earth couples, we are here. This is where we're at. You have completed a journey and they're saying that this is that connection. You guys are with each other. You're happy. Things are unknown. But the mystery of life is a joy at the same time. As each petal of the thousand petal lotus um, unfolds and opens, you learn something more special about the universe. You learn something more special about yourself and you learn something more special about your partner. And each of those lessons brings joy and bliss and peace, contentment. Um, and they're saying, <laughs> they're, they're being interesting. Um, they're saying that this is also a great time to understand that sometimes what annoys you and the other person could also be something that you do yourself and you're trying to fix it. That's why it's coming across as annoying. But at the same time, it's those little annoyances can also be like little cute quirks that you're like, you know what? I don't really care. I still love them anyway. So we have the six of autumn as a clarifier here. The good 
you do comes back to you an unexpected inflow of money but uh, borrowing mon wisely or repaying a debt so the bliss the unknown this is talking in the six of autumn aspect of give and take it's that giving and receiving it doesn't have to be financial it can be energetic where you're doing something because you love and care about the other person they're reciprocating because they love and care about you that's this beautiful connection and flow of energy and the six of autumn is saying take advantage of that enjoy the tr journey because what else you got to do in life right um you also have the two of summer which is interesting because i cut the deck twice and then shuffled it <laughs> um so for earth couples you have the two of summer as well falling in love making serious commitment to someone forgiveness resolution of a problem don't give up your relationship is healed when we see this kind of a card coming up with the six of autumn it's that give and take that's where with like the bliss card it's that yeah there might be those little quirks that are kind of like frustrating like he may not get his socks into the hamper or she'll leave her lipstick stain on the coffee cup or whatever it is but is it really that big of a deal no it's not and that's what they're saying is enjoy the fact that you have the partner enjoy the fact that you have the trust the growth and the compassion with each other this month for earth couples is very much a positive one it's all about connecting and deepening the relationship understanding that when that thousand petal lotus starts to open it opens one petal at a time and each lesson that you learn each joy that you experience each awakening moment that you have brings another petal out so that you're more awake and more open to the divine to god source energy but it's also more open to your partner and more connected at a deep level with your partner as well so earth couples definitely enjoy it take the time spend some time with your partner this next month really be happy find that joyful part of just giggling again as like you were first together that bring back that honeymoon giggle um earth singles you've got this you've got the strength to move forward you've got everything that you need at your hands so do the work that needs to be done because you've got a really powerful card in the lovers coming up saying <laughs> it's waiting now it's up to you to make the decision are you ready in this moment if not that's fine you can push you can wait because the other person's almost there but not quite but when you are both ready it's going to become magical so um, with that I will let you guys and gals go if you're new here hit that subscribe button drop a like on the video let me know your thoughts feelings and opinions in the comments down below with that I will let you guys go have a great month of September